What's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today is part two in my pin haul of 2022 series where I show you the like 500 pins that I have traded, collected, and purchased from a whole slew of artists. Now this is a part of a bigger series on my channel, a bigger playlist, which is called Artist Alley. That's something that I started at the very beginning of the creation of this channel. However, I didn't really give it a name until like, 2019 or 2020 or something like that. But Artist Alley is where I like to feature different creators, different artists who are inspired by Sailor Moon to create beautiful pieces, whether that's home decor or enamel pins like I'm showing here or crafts or stationery, whatever it might be. I love being able to share those items with you and support other small businesses because content creation is also a small business. So since this is part two, if you missed part one, where I shared the first 100 pins in this series. Definitely check that out because I do go over some of the effects that I've been looking for in pins and kind of explain how my process has been going in becoming a more serious pin collector. In this video, I did want to mention how I was able to purchase all these pins financially. And one of the really big things that I wanted to talk about was finding and researching creators. So finding and researching creators was something that I kind of struggled with at the beginning Beginning, but once I was able to find them mostly on Instagram, I was able to figure out how each of their companies and how they run their small business. Some of them do open pre-orders, which is what I prefer because that's less stressful. It's much more easier to access for people that have maybe slower internet or maybe are neurodivergent and get stressed out or get anxiety easy. So I really appreciate when creators do open pre-orders. However, I also understand that a lot of creators don't do this full time, so they may not be able to do open pre-orders and allow for larger limited editions. So if that's the case, I generally try my best to hop on for a pre-order as soon as something releases, like in the first minute. And I try to do research on how their stores are run and see if there's a way that I can set up my cookies on my browser so that everything is pre-filled for me. A lot of times I fail at drops and then I have to focus on trading or purchasing secondhand. I often try to focus more so on trading over purchasing secondhand because a lot of people try to scalp very rare or exclusive pins, which I don't think is super fair to people who miss out on pre-orders. So I do my best to try to support the creator first before I go searching a third party. Many of the pins that I'm showing in this series were purchased from the creator specifically because that's when you get the best price. If I was not able to get it from them, usually I would trade out something from my own personal collection in order to get that pin because then all you're paying for is the shipping to your trade partner. Of course, then you have to trust the trade partner. So I have been building that trust on my own Instagram and finding trade partners that I can really trust myself. I was also really focused on finding people that I could trust to be drop buddies. And I also return the favor too. Drop buddies is where somebody may offer to be there for a pre-order or an in-hand drop on a creator's website so that they can snag it for you. That's been very useful whenever I miss a drop or I know that I'm going to be in a meeting for my job or if I'm gonna be traveling on an airplane and can't access the drop. So I do have drop buddies that help a lot with these. That way I can trust them to get the drop for me and they're not going to try to scalp the pin for twice the price whenever I can tell them, okay, I'm ready to pay you. So I'll pay them back and then they'll ship me the pin. A lot of that comes down to finding trustworthy individuals and I've really tried to build that reputation. So some pins that I have purchased um, I would see them go for secondhand for like $1,200. And I have never paid that much for a pin ever. And I never will because pins are made out of metal. Eventually they will degrade over time. If you don't take care of them, eventually they will tarnish. Luckily, I live in a state where we have a very dry climate. Humidity makes things tarnish. So because I live in a dry climate, that means that my pins will naturally last for much longer. I also make sure that I wash my hands. I don't put lotion on my hands whenever I'm touching my pins like for a review like this and my hands are dry so they're not super moisturized or anything like that because that can cause concerns. And after I touch them, I wipe them off with a microfiber cloth so that they don't scratch or anything. So I do try to 
take care of the items that I'm collecting. One little pro tip that I've figured out in the past like half of 2022 is how to trade for pins when those pins are like $1,200 secondhand. I can't afford that. I don't want to afford that. I don't want to pay that type of money for a pin. So I have to depend on traders. My best way to do that is by really focusing on what people are looking for and trying to find those drops so that I can purchase one of those pins with my decent internet and be able to trade for the pin that I really want. So there's been several cases where I've been able to get something that's considered high value on the secondhand market, although these pins fluctuate as much as cryptocurrency does. So don't necessarily take that as full value. And in turn, I had originally purchased the trader for like less than a hundred bucks and I'm using it to trade for a pin that's valued at 1200. So there's been many times that I've been able to do that. And it, it really just comes down to paying attention to what people want and trying to figure out how I can like drop buddy and then trade for the pin that I want. I know that many times people will purchase a pin that they know will go on a secondhand market for crazy dollar amounts. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but I'm more than happy to drop buddy for somebody if they want a super exclusive pin and they're willing to trade with me so that I can get a grail and they can get the pin that they wanted. So that's kind of an overview of how I've been able to purchase all these pins because trading is really a big thing in the pin community. So let's go ahead and break into this second series of of 100 pins. Again, I'm doing about 100 at a time, uh, starting with one of my favorite creators that you have seen on this channel before, and that is Sailor Kraken pins. All of these that I have on my table are by Sailor Kraken pins. They have very affordable pins. These are really fairly priced. They do a lot of their own art, but they also work with other artists as well, which I think is such a cool merging of artistic creations. So let's start over here and I'll work my way over across the table. These are the Kimono series. Most of these I only have one version of, but for Sailor Pluto, I just couldn't choose. So I bought both versions. So in the daytime version, she has cherry blossoms behind Behind her as well as Mount Fuji. And then we have the nighttime version, which is also absolutely gorgeous. I love these. They are flat pins. They're only one layer and they are so pretty. I was also able to find Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Now side by side, you will be able to tell that they have different backgrounds. They're slightly different colors. Sometimes that will happen. If a manufacturer cannot figure out like the correct Pantone or if there's a second variant or if the creator comes out with a second version, like this is the first version of Sailor Neptune, I believe. And this is the first version of Uranus, but Uranus came out later than Neptune. They do have different background colors which I think is fine. I have no issues with that. And then I also picked up this variant of Sailor Mars, which is gorgeous. And this variant of Hotaru and Shibuyusa with the fireworks in the background. So cute. I love this pin of Sailor Jupiter with the stained glass background and the snow in this Japanese garden. And this one of Sailor Mercury is just adorable, especially since it looks like she's standing in front of a chalkboard. I got a couple of Minako pins. So first we have Minako with Artemis next to her sitting on a windowsill. This one's a little bit older, so it's kind of hard to find now. And then we have Minako in a really sexy kimono. It's kind of like slipping off of her. It's another one that's like slightly naughty. <laughs> These three are variants of Usagi. So I have this close up one of Usagi in this very cute, like kind of sexy kimono. And then I have these two variants of her in blue and her in pink, same art, but these are like zoomed out versions. So you can see your feet too. They're so cute. This is, I wanna say the 2020 Halloween pin. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out on the 2022 one, but this is from 2020, I wanna say, one of the original Halloween ones by Sailor Kraken pins, and I just love it. It's so cute. Perfect for my future Halloween board, which if you didn't know, if you didn't watch the previous video, I will be doing a organizational video too to kind of share my inspiration and where I'm going with this collection. Each of these different designs is 
kind of gonna have its own board and I'm really looking forward to putting them all together. These three are from a series called Cosmic Chronicles by Sailor Kraken Pins. So we have Usagi running with her toast in her mouth, running to school because she's always late. No surprise there. Then we have Sailor Moon in front of Tokyo Tower. Again, I love Tokyo Tower backgrounds on pins. I think they're so cool. And we have this really cute one that had a cat hair on it of Usagi in front of the Korean Game Center. And of course she has some ice cream in hand. That series is looking so cute and I'm really happy that I'm in the um, the group in order to pre-order those. This pen I am loving and we have seen art for a second one in this series as well. This one features Wicked Lady or Black Lady and she is in what looks like a mirror or this really cool gold frame and she has wise men above her that's it's so cool i love this design it's very creative very interesting and different since we're mentioning enemies and baddies this one features queen barrel and she's got that booty she just looks like such a badass i actually just pre-ordered a variant of this one on january 1st of a more like neon colored version so this is luna on a crescent moon this one was so hard to get i missed the original pre-sale and then i missed the in hand so i really had to work to find somebody who was trading this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. I don't really collect Sailor V pins, but I loved the art, especially her eyes on this pin. It was just so pretty. There were several different variants of this Sailor V pin, but I think I'm just going to have to organize all my pins and see how many Sailor V pins I have. I don't think I have many, so I might end up treating her out and getting something that's that's more for my personal collection so we'll see these next few pins are from the attack series this is one of the newest in the attack series that i've been able to snag this is sailor cosmos of course she looks so cool we've actually never seen a sailor cosmos attack so i love that sailor kraken pins came up with their own attack for sailor cosmos it looks really neat. I also have Sailor Pluto for this attack series. You have seen this series previously on my channel, Sailor Uranus with World Shaking. And then we also have Sailor Mars and we have Sailor Saturn, both in their attack phases. Sailor Venus, Venus Love Me Chain. And we have Sailor Chibi Moon. Something I know I'm going to want more of are filler pins. And luckily Sailor Kraken Pins has created some really cute fillers. So here's a couple of fillers of the kitties. We have Luna and Artemis. They're so tiny and adorable and I love them. These are a bunch of filler pins that Sailor Kraken Pins has made. I decided to purchase these with a very purple and pink and pastel aesthetic. I thought these would look really cute on a Sailor Saturn board. Just a few more from Sailor Kraken Pins. This one is a white haired Princess Serenity. Really, really big pin. This is single layer and gorgeous. These three are of the Moon Kingdom family. So we have Neo Queen Serenity, King Endymion, and we have Small Lady Princess Serenity. So cute. Really like all the pearl and the swirl pearl effects that went into these three. And I think they look great together. I love their eyes. I think they look gorgeous. And I love the screen printing that was done on each of these. All right, this next series is a fairly new series that I have been collecting from Sailor Kraken Pens. And it's because each of them is just gorgeous and beautiful and dainty and I love them. This is the floral series. This features each of the Sailor Guardians with florals around them and stained glass windows. Just beautiful. I love them. So we have Jupiter, Mars, and Neptune here. I also have Sailor Moon. We have Uranus and Venus. I think they're beautiful. They're really, really gorgeous and very feminine. This miniature pin of Sailor Moon dressed up as a bunny is so freaking cute. Had to have it adorable. And then I was able to snag this awesome, awesome Black Lady pin. It's one of my favorites of this character. I think it looks so good and it's stained glass. All right, almost done with Sailor Kraken pins. This is a really cute series that they've been working on of chibis. So here's four of them. This is the four generals from the original series or the first few volumes of the manga, the first arc. So this is Jedi, Nephrite, Zoisite, and Kunzite. Barrel is upcoming in this chibi uh, lineup or series of pins. So I'm very excited to receive her in the mail. We also have the five inner guardians in their attack poses as chibis. Again, very, very cute, really adorable pins. I love these, I love the art. I really hope that we get to see the outer guardians as well. 
with these attack formats and in their school uniforms because I would just love to have all of the chibis for the entire series of Sailor Guardians. Even the enemies, like since I'm creating an enemy board, I would love to have all of the enemies, like the main ones from each of the seasons. I think they even did an ale and on one from Sailor Moon R. So I definitely need to get those. Lastly, for the chibis, we have uh, school uniforms and then there's also a tuxedo mask. Tuxedo mask looks so precious. He's so cute. And then we have Mamo-chan and Usagi. And literally the only pin I have of Naru, of Molly. So here we have Naru and then we have the other inner guardians in their school uniforms. They're just so precious. I love them. I love them so much. I love their chitties. These are like, these are some of my favorite chitties. They're some of the only chitties that we've gotten in pin format. So please keep them going, Sailor Kraken pins. I love your chitties. Okay, let's grab some more pins and finish up this episode. Okay, I've got about 50 more pins to share with you from just a few other creators. I wanted to move on to some other really beautiful pins that I have found this past year. Let's go ahead and start with Villain Codes. So Villain Codes has really focused on like villain series and I love them, they look so pretty. I found them kind of late into collecting this year and then I had to backtrack and find all of the pins from these series uh, through third parties. But these were a couple that I had pre-ordered. I do a lot of pre-orders with villain codes. Their pre-orders tend to come in pretty quickly. So these are a couple that I had purchased. This one features the Outer Sailor Guardians. I need to dust it, there's some dust on there. But this one features Uranus, Pluto, and Neptune on some podiums or on some columns really pretty and this one is eternal sailor moon i don't have a lot of pins e of eternal sailor moon but that's my favorite version of sailor moon so i had to get this one it's so cool these two are from a series that i have been pre-ordering i think it's called the circle the circle pins uh, this one of course is sailor jupiter and then we have sailor mercury really nice pins the art is so clear on these the background print is so cool and i love how it really sticks with the design and the aesthetics of each of the characters this one of luna and kakaru i believe his name is from the sailor moon s movie is just gorgeous and i had to have it for my luna pin board villain codes also has a whole bunch of other ones that have these frames of some of the other romantic partners from this sailor moon series so if you're interested in those definitely check them out this one is also kind of a frame design i pre-ordered this i had no clue how much i would love it in person but once i got it in the mail i was like oh my gosh this is probably one of my favorite princess serenity pins i just love the art i love how her eyes look I really love the background and how she totally pops out of the frame. It's just a really beautiful piece overall. Villain Codes, again, focuses on villains. They're one of the only makers who has done pins of Ale and On. So here we have On and then Ale, of course. They're from the Sailor Moon R season and so freaking cool. I love how these look. I love that they have like a card behind them that they are coming out of. It's perfect for their characters. So. Definitely wanted these for my villain board. This series has been such a struggle to collect because I was late to the series. So I don't even have all of them, even though the series is complete, but I do have the ones that I wanted the most. And that was all the women from this series. So this is the Sailor Moon R villain collection from Villain Codes. So of course we have Black Lady, that was the newest one. We also have Rubius, he looks so cool. I love his muscles. Here we have Esmeralda or Emerald, I think her English name is. She looks so cool. I was also able to get each of the Ayakashi sisters. So here we have Koan. She's so cute. I love it. From the Black Moon Clan, we also have Pets. She looks great. And we have the last couple of sisters. They all look so good together. I just love this collection. Really good art. Moving on, this is one that I've purchased from in hand a couple of times. Um, I usually end up purchasing these from third party sellers whenever they sell them on like Mercari. These are from Pidmi Nerdy, who definitely focuses on inspiration from the manga. So here we have a couple of Sailor V. Again, just a few of the only Sailor V ones that I have, 
We have a manga rendition of Sailor Venus, one of Sailor Pluto. This is probably my favorite one from Pin Me Nerdy. Then I have this one of Sailor Moon with Sailor V behind her. And this really beautiful one of Sailor Moon. They're all so very pretty. Okay, then we have this series of five pins from Disney Lagoon. And I gotta say, this was again, one of those series that I struggled to find online because they were so hard to get. These were extremely hard to get. And I finally have this full collection of full color versions and they are awesome. So here we have Sailor Moon or Usagi running. She's like running to school and she has her pink bag. This one was the hardest to get. It was so tough to find her online. Then I have Sailor Venus. We also have Rey, Sailor Mars, Amy. She's so cute. I was able to snag Makoto in her school uniform. So that series was a hard one to get, but I did it and I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> All right, the last ones that I wanted to share with you for this episode of the pin series is Nixie Pins. Now, Nixie Pins is another one that I was supporting on Patreon while she had that running. And I also had a few pre-orders from her too. I am still waiting on my pre-orders, so I'm gonna be focusing on in hands with Nixie Pins. Her pre-orders tend to take a little bit longer, um, but she's definitely a perfectionist with these pins and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm happy to have these in hand and I wanted to share them with you as well. So so here we have a couple of really cute ones of Usagi and Chibiusa. I really like the art on these and I think it's so cool that Nixie chose to do a lighter color for their eyes. It keeps the pins very, very pastel. I wasn't sure how much I would like that before I saw them in person, but once I saw these in person, I just love them. They are just adorable. This one from Nixie's Court of Stars series is gorgeous as well. I love how Chibiusa looks like she's from Disney. Like she looks like a Disney princess in this pin and I love it. So I can't wait to see the rest of this series. This is Usagi from her Belle Fleur series. The lavender dress just totally did it for me. And I love the stained glass window effect behind her. It's a very, very pretty single layer pin. A lot of these are really soft, very feminine pins. And I love that. This is a very cute little trio of pins. We have Mars, Moon, and Venus. I'm waiting for Mercury and Jupiter to come out in this series because I would love to add them to this collection. Nixie has also done this really nice collection of supers. This is called the Super Senshi series. Here we have Super Sailor Moon. Love the stained glass bow. It looks really beautiful. Then we have Super Chibi Moon. Again, she has that gorgeous stained glass bow and I, the gradient in the background is just ugh, perfection. Love it. And lastly, for this Super Senshi series, we have Super Sailor Venus. Again, she looks so freaking cute. I love it. Can't wait to see the rest of that series too. Bookmark style pins are definitely a trend and we have a couple from Nixie Pins. Here we have Sailor Moon and we have Sailor Cosmos. And these definitely have a unique art style to them. It's really neat looking. These I'll be able to display right next to each other because they are flat on the edges. So these would look so cool on a whole board of bookmark pins. And last for this episode, I have a series called Senshi Power from Nixie. So here we have Super Sailor Moon, and it does look like she is transforming or she's doing a power up. It's very cool. I also have Sailor Cosmos. This is one of my favorite Sailor Cosmos pins. It's very gorgeous. And we have Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Again, very cute and the stained glass done on her ribbon that's going around her looks so great. All right, so those are all the pins I wanted to share with you in this second episode from my multi-part series about my 2022 pin hauling. If you have any questions or if you would like to know about the different creators that have created these pins, definitely leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out their websites, which I will link below. And again, if you didn't see one of the ones on my table specifically described in this video, that means that they wanted to remain anonymous. And I do respect that. So I don't tag them or shout them out in videos if they want to remain anonymous. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and check out the first one in the series over here if you haven't seen it yet. Moving on, I will have a playlist of all of these. So I do have a part three coming up next. I'm Sailor Snubs, Janae.